I'm headed to my final basketball games of the season, the ACC Women's uh, Tournament in South Carolina. 14 games in five days. We got three games here on day one. We have seven top 25 ranked teams in the tournament. And I'm hoping to share a little bit of what an event like this is like for a photographer. I'm here at day two of the ACC Women's Basketball Tournament, and I wanted to share some of the technical aspects that I look for when I shoot basketball. You'll see out here on the court, this was about an hour before game time. The photographers are going to be located along the baseline where the tables are. They have uh, sectioned us off. We have specific spots that we'll be shooting from. First thing I have to do, especially when I'm in a new arena, is set up the camera for the lighting that I have. This particular court has pretty good lighting. My baseline, what I want to try to start off with is one one thousandth of a shutter speed. As low as ISO as I can get and F3.2 stop to try to uh, give just a little bit more depth than the 2.8 wheel on the focal plane. Not much, but enough for error. And then I adjust accordingly depending on the light. Uh, out here, after I metered the lighting I have, the far side of the court is actually about half a stop brighter than the near side over here. Now this particular uh, game, because I'm shooting for wire services, I'm, I'm going to switch sides each quarter. That way I have the offense for both teams each half for when I submit at halftime and at the end of the game. This particular court, after I meter, at ISO 2500 I can get one one thousandth of a shutter speed. On the far side, and on the near side, I can get 1 800. Uh, I have been on courts where I've had to go as high as ISO 10,000, but I don't just turn it up to ISO 10,000. I adjust it according to uh, the best case. Again, my baseline is 1,000. Women's basketball, whether it's high school or college, the lowest I want to go is in the, well, in the 1 640th of a range. Um, but there are times when you have to go lower. Basically what I'll do is up to ISO 6400, I'll try to keep that, keep it at least 1 800th shutter speed, and then I'll start alternating back and forth between shutter and ISO until I get the light I need. Uh, for the camera, Setting focal points. I have it set where my autofocus is continuous. I use a single point focal point and I use it one spot up from center. I predominantly shoot in landscape rather than portrait. A lot of people like shooting, uh, shooting portrait style for basketball because it's a vertical game. Uh, I, I tend to shoot landscape no matter what. And then I can always crop to a vertical crop if I need to, which I do occasionally. As far as the focal point, I'll try to show you what I'm talking about there. I'm setting up my camera for the file. I shoot in both RAW and JPEG. RAW on one card, JPEG on the other. Before the game, I'll set a file number such as 100. 
That's for non-action shots, pre-game, workouts, that type of thing. Then for the first half, I'll have it listed as file 101, second half 102. It helps me when I separate um, the photos into each half, of course, and for submittals into the wire service. You know, covering the basketball tournament, everybody thinks the story is the championship game in which, you know, of course, that is one of the main stories. However, in a tournament such as this, where there's 14 games, there's at least 13 other stories that need to be told as well. So we got to get through all those shots before we can get to the championship game.